Um, Al grew up in northern Wisconsin, in the Eagle River area, so he was always a northern forest guy. He had an opportunity to go to the trees for tomorrow camp when he was a senior in high school. And I think that's where he really got more interested in forestry in the outdoors. But then there was a, a challenge of an essay contest that Trees for Tomorrow was um, sponsoring. Al um, wrote an essay for that little contest. He ended up winning it. And he ended up getting a scholarship to further his education in forestry. Al chose Iowa State University, not that he didn't like Wisconsin, but he didn't have an accredited forestry program back then. So he graduated in forestry from Iowa State, came back to Wisconsin, worked a short time, I believe, with Trees for Tomorrow. Then he joined the Air Force. He served our country in the Air Force. And when he retired from the Air Force Reserve as a lieutenant colonel. So Al did a lot of time with the Air Force, so we appreciate him for that. Um, then um, he came back to Wisconsin and he was staff forester for the tree farm, or Trees for Tomorrow camp, and later became this, the camp manager. So I believe it was around 1970, Al decided to, um, or about before that, I think, around 1970 years? 69. 69, pretty close. Um, <laughs> He decided to further his education again and go for his master's in natural resource administration and he went to Colorado State University to obtain that master's degree, which he succeeded. And when he came back, he came back to Wisconsin. He was an educator and administrator for Nicolay College in Rhineland, Wisconsin. And what we needed back then, we needed more people to work in the woods. And Al's um, job yeah. and as an educator was for timber production and timber producer program. His students were trained to become logging professionals or to become entrepreneurs in the logging industry. We need more loggers to get our work done. So Al was a big part of that to increase our logging force. So that was very important. Um, after that, he did that until 1988, 1970 to 1988. And then from there, He was, um, um, they formed the Wisconsin Forest Productivity Council by the Forest Industry, and Al was the executive director of that productivity council from 1988 to 1999. Um, Al also was uh, very instrumental in forming the Forest Industry Safety and Training Alliance, which is called FISTA. Um, the goals and objectives was to educate loggers and landowners in chainsaw safety and safe logging techniques. Thereby, they reduced logging accidents and related insurance costs for professional loggers. That was very important, and it's still a very important program to the state. Al also, from 1991 to 1999, he was American Tree Farm Administrator. So for a while there, he was holding two jobs and doing a very good job of it. As administrator, Al recruited many other tree farm inspectors. He has also served on the National Operating Committee for the American Forest Foundation. And at that time, Wisconsin had more tree farmers than, than in any state. We had over 4,000 tree farm members, and that didn't include um, MFL people. Um, included um, yeah. Al was Other things, um, after he retired, basically at one time um, from a productivity council and the tree farm administrator. He also, then he became tree farm committee chair from 99 to 2002, and he is still an active committee member of the state. For the Wisconsin Woodland Owners Association, he was active from 1979 to the present. He was a charter member in 1979. He was a founding <coughs> member of the North Central Chapter of WOA he was a board of director for nine years in Iowa, 2000 to 2009. He was president from 2003 to 2005. Publici he was publicity committee chair from 2006 to 2010. He was on the education and Men membership committee from 2000 to 2009. Past president's committee, 2006 to the present. And um, 
Um, he was also a big catalyst in promoting growth and membership and programs of the association. Um, for his Trees for Tomorrow, we said he was a staff forester from 1960 to about 1964, and also camp manager up to 1969. Now was also involved in the Golden Sands RC and D from 1991, and actually until present. Um, and for the Safety Training Alliance, um, he was assisted in developing the alliance. 1989 to 1991. He was president of the Alliance from 2003 to 2005 and board of directors for FISCA from 1991 to 2007. He was on the Northland Pine School Board member from 1978 to 81 and then 1983 to 1989 and he was president of the school board from 1984 to 1989. Recognition that Al has received in the past is for the Society of American Foresters. He was the North, Northeastern Wisconsin chapter chair from 77 to 78. He was awarded the John Macon Award in 1998. He was elected a fellow in 2002. He has the Golden Membership Award of 2000, uh, 2012. The Wisconsin Woodland Owners Association, he was an outstanding leadership as president in 2005, Distinguished Service Award in 2009, and for the RCND, he was an outstanding RCND supporter in 1998. He's also at this time a member of the Association of Consulting Foresters, and he also received a leadership award from the American Tree Farm Program. When we had this nomination for our committee, <coughs> um, one, one of our people on the committee said he was actually embarrassed that Al wasn't recognized a lot earlier. <laughs> he had so many things. But he's one of those guys, he's always there, and sometimes he's always gonna be there. And I think, I know he still will be now. So it's really been great working with Al, and um, I'm really glad that we had an opportunity to give you this award. Um, so, Tom, would you? into the Forestry Hall of Fame, into the Wisconsin Forestry Hall of Fame, this day, September 19, 2015. Congratulations, Al.
lives in Milwaukee. He's a, a financial analyst for Xerox, has been for many, many years. I'm very, very pleased that they're able to join me and help me with this recognition tonight. I appreciate their, their presence. Going back a lot of years, an aptitude test that I took in high school showed that I would not do well in sales. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I would do after high school. Money was a problem, and I didn't anticipate being able to go on to college. But someone asked me in my senior year, did you uh, sign up for that, that uh, essay contest? What essay contest? Down at the office. So I, I went down and looked. I did the follow through on it, and the essay was to be entitled why I'm interested in a career in forestry. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it. And as Tom indicated, I was successful. I was awarded the scholarship. I went on to study forestry at Iowa State University. I had a two-year commitment to active duty with the Air Force. And I spent that in Germany. I was nearing the end of that time when a very good friend was giving me a, a bad time about going home soon. He wanted me to go indefinite, which mean, means to extend, of course, and stay with the Air Force. I said, why? <laughs> so you can serve your country. <laughs> and I told him, I studied forestry and I think that I can serve my country just as well as a forester as I could in the Air Force. I enjoyed the Air Force, but uh, forestry was a higher priority. I worked in forestry for 39 years professionally. Various jobs, as, as time is outlined. As well as 15 years and counting avocationally. Looking back over the uh, many activities of my career, I realized I was in sales most of the time, <laughs> <laughs> selling ideas. I'm grateful for the many opportunities to share those ideas with others. I enjoy my association with landowners, foresters, and others as I continue to contribute to a number of organizations, the Wisconsin Woodland Owners Association, Wisconsin Tree Farm Committee, Golden Sands Resource Conservation and Development Council. I guess you could say I'm still selling ideas. <laughs> Thank you to the Wisconsin Forestry Hall of Fame Committee for considering me and electing me to this prestigious organization. I'm deeply humbled by the honor, and I thank you.